I've had the Beckett Simenon Kent Wingtip Oxford for just about six months now. I've worn them quite a few times and they have definitely exceeded my expectations as far as quality and comfort goes. But I have yet to take them out on anything longer than a 25 to 30 minute walk to test out how comfortable they really are. Now I've got some errands to run this morning. I'll be wearing these shoes as well as taking you along with me. That way we can see if these awesome shoes hold up to the rigors of everyday walking. Just at about 1.7 miles. As you see, I had to run in these shoes earlier. Shoes are totally fine as far as being comfortable enough to run in. So, so far, feet, shins, feeling absolutely great. Outfit check for today, up top. Wool silk linen sport coat. Subway's going by. Up top, wool silk linen sport coat in this nice blue pattern or blue color with a little bit of a texture to it. White pocket square right here. Always keep a pocket square in there. I always have a problem keeping them, keeping them up. Navy blue, Collars and Co. polo shirt. You've heard me talk about Collars and Co. polo shirt. I absolutely love them. I am rocking a v-neck undershirt today since it's not too, too hot. And you can see I don't have any long sleeves, which helps keeping me a little bit cooler. Gray Chino pants from Banner Republic. And of course, as you saw before, Beckett Simenon wingtip Oxford, the Kent wingtip Oxford, and just some gray casual gray casual socks. Also, I don't want to forget to mention the belt. This one is from Anson Belt. This is a nice casual option. Absolutely love it. So the shoes are actually extremely comfortable for what they are, right? They're not sneakers. I can tell that I'm not wearing sneakers, but they're dress shoes and they're very comfortable, especially compared to some of my other dress shoes like my Allard Edmonds, McAllister, Strands, things like that. They feel, the sole feels really good. They fit really good. They're flexible. Overall, so far, very happy with them. Very impressed. Comfort is gonna be a 9.5 out of 10, if not 10 out of 10. We are about 2.8 miles. Feet are still feeling really good. I can kind of tell that my shins are starting to get a bit sore, probably because I had to run before to actually make it to my appointment. But so far, feet feel great ankles. I'm not getting any pinches around the sides of my feet or anything like that. So far, so good. Just shy of three miles. I'm really happy that these are super comfortable so far. All right, we are back from running errands. The total mileage walked today. Mileage, 3.5 miles. You can see right there. 3.5 miles in the Beckett Simenon Kent Wingtip Oxford. So how did they do? Comfort really is 10 out of 10 for a dress shoe. The only way to make these more comfortable would be to add a sneaker sole, but that's not what we're going for here with a shoe like this. This is more of a classic shoe with a actual raised stacked heel right there. Nice classic welt around and a nice chunky sole. We're not really going for a cushy sole right here. So these aren't going to be as comfortable as running shoes, obviously, but for dress shoes, I could honestly say they are one of the most comfortable dress shoes that I've ever worn. So comfort, 10 out of 10 for dress shoes. A couple of other things, as you could see, there's really not a whole bunch of pronounced creasing. Now, I don't wear these every single day. I do keep these in shoe trees. I polish them only once, but the quality, absolutely top-notch quality for these shoes. There's that one, there's this one. You can see I have a couple of nicks up here. This is to be expected though, if you're out walking around and actually using your shoes for what they're designed for, actually going outside and walking, that's why we're wearing shoes, right? Agree with me? We don't wear shoes just to wear them in the house and protect them. We wear shoes out in the elements to protect our feet. So far, pretty good. The wear and tear is pretty minimal on these. And that outsole, it's really nice that they give you a rubber outsole on this particular shoe. Now they put this sole in some of their more chunkier casual shoes like these, 
but the dress shoes actually do come with leather soles and different styles and different shapes. A couple things about Beckett Simonon, their business model is direct to consumer and made to order. This does a couple of things. It cuts out the middleman, meaning that they don't have to raise prices to pay more employees at their storefronts. That, that keeps the cost low. And number two, they don't have to have a backlog of inventory sitting on the shelf that they're gonna have to put for a closeout sale and inventory sitting on a shelf when you're in business is actually going to cost you money. So they are made to order. That definitely does keep the cost way, way lower than if they just kept them stocked and had a whole bunch of storefronts. And all those cost savings are actually passed on to you and me, the consumers, which is absolutely awesome. Now, something else that they did, which was a really nice touch, is they added these small little inserts. They're just thin inserts. They fit perfectly inside the shoe. This is a really nice touch since these shoes are made to order. You can't try them on before you actually buy them, and we're buying them online. It's very hard. You're taking a gamble when it comes to your sizes. Now, these shoes, when I first put my feet in them, they were a bit big, but putting those inserts in, totally fine. The shoe, like I said, no rubbing on my feet nothing no flip-flop effect the shoe is worn in really nicely and fits my feet perfectly with those inserts in now these shoes have something called a blake stitch this is similar to a goodyear welt i believe a blake stitch is just a bit more slim and sleek but that basically just means that the bottom is sewn onto the top of the shoe when the bottom of the shoes were out rather than just having to get a whole new pair of shoes you could actually take them to a shoe repair shop and they can redo the bottoms they can just stitch on new bottoms for you new soles at a fraction of the cost of buying a brand new pair. Now, like anything in life, there are going to be disadvantages to Becca Simonon's dress shoes and their business model. And the first one we're going to talk about is that made to order business model. What this essentially means is you can't just walk into a shop and try the shoe on before you actually purchase it. Now, this is a pretty big gamble since you're actually paying quite a bit of money, even though these are a lot cheaper than some other dress shoes. You're paying quite a bit of money to have a shoe made only to find out that it might not fit you. It might be too tight. It might be too loose. Now, I seem to luck out. This is an 11 and a half D as in Delta width, standard width and they fit a little bit big, but that just gives me the option to wear them with thicker socks in the fall and winter. And it looks like they're already thinking forward about this or they're already thinking about this with putting in that black insert that I showed you before. So this worked out perfectly for me, but I would hate to pay that money wait a few weeks only to find the shoes are too small or the shoes are too big. And now, of course, with the made to order, it also means that you're going to have to wait six to eight weeks or sometimes up to two months to get your shoes after you actually purchase them. So these are not something where you need a pair of dress shoes tomorrow and you go out today and you get them. That's what your other brands are for. That's what your brands that have storefronts are for. So maybe some of your fashion forward brands. It's a helicopter outside right now. So these are definitely more of a delayed gratification item where you buy them and then they show up one or two months later down the road. Now, of course, as this is a negative, this also means that these shoes are going to cost almost half the price of some other pricier options out there that do have storefronts and do have employees that you can walk in and actually get fitted for them. So if you're okay waiting two months, up to two months for these shoes, totally worth it because you're gonna get a much higher quality shoe at a much lower price. But if you need a pair of dress shoes tomorrow or in a few weeks, they're probably not going to be able to make it for you in time. Now, of course, with these shoes, they're not going to be the best in the rain or snow, but that's not what they're intended for. I'm sure they're going to be totally fine if you get caught in the rain, but I wouldn't want to wear these shoes if you look outside your window and say, oh, look, it's monsooning. I'm going to wear my chunky wingtips or I'm going to wear my casual Beckett Simonons. If you have a model similar to this, this does have that rubber sole, so you don't have to worry about that leather sole getting shredded on a standard dress shoe or on a formal dress shoe, but these are not going to be the greatest in the rain. I would not walk through puddles. I would not walk through snow. If you're outside and you actually get caught in the rain, it's probably not going to be a problem. I wouldn't stress just because you got that rubber. That rubber is great. But still, we could put that down as a negative. They're not all-weather shoes, but they're definitely more all-weather shoes than a pair of black Capto Oxfords with smooth leather soles. Now, initially, I did think that these were a bit more of a chunkier shoe, a chunkier option, and they definitely do have more weight than some of my slimmer Balmoral leather soled Oxfords, leather soled wingtips. However, I've grown to really like their style as I've worn them around the house, and you saw we just 
walked three and a half miles today. Their style is actually really nice. It's nice and casual, but you could still dress it up with a suit. Now I did a video recently talking about how I was wearing my Allen Edmonds McAllister's, walked in them for three miles. I actually did that, I did that twice. And one time it was killing me over here. Then the next time it was cutting in over here, it was cutting in over here. I wasn't sure what I was going to do. I think this shoe can actually end up replacing those shoes and some of my other Allen Edmonds low profile dress shoes just because these shoes I can comfortably walk or confidently walk five miles in and not have to worry about my feet getting cut up, my feet getting blisters all over them. It's just the overall better option for where I am at this point. So are Beckett Simonon dress shoes worth it? Absolutely, worth every penny if you're okay waiting for two months and you're okay taking a bit of a gamble when it comes to getting something made to order that might not be your size. With that being said, I could confidently say I went with my standard 11 and a half D as in Delta size and these shoes fit me perfectly. So hope this helped. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you made it this far in the video. Let me know and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.